So the card is often registered about endings and sometimes emotional endings and sometimes those of the love relationship field. It doesn't have to be your intimate partner. It could be the best friend in your life. It could be a brother or sister. And sometimes they are moving away. Sometimes there's more of a, a falling apart because of lack of communication or you just your paths are no longer crossing. The thing about this card that can be useful or helpful is it can be temporary. So the threes are quite transient and the pain can move on quickly. It can also be healed sometimes with communication and good mediation. So if you're wanting to try to heal a relationship that you feel is out going out the door but you wish it wasn't, then employ someone to help with the mediation through it and use good communication. And communication also means listening. There's also this heart down here. So sometimes I think of the physical heart for people that you could know someone with a heart issue or up through the chest region. And sometimes this is uh, things like breast cancer as well. Uh, if not, it could be yourself that you need to look at your heart health. So get a good checkup, make sure your diet's going well, your blood pressure is all good, your cholesterol levels are in you know, the uh, protocol levels. But her heart is down here, and this is actually the stomach and the, the stomach and the liver area of the body. Now, this could also need some healing, or there could be a red light flashing there for some of you. So the big thing with the liver is detox. So remember that it can be a card that signals a really good time to do some detoxifying throughout the body. The liver also holds our emotional trauma, where we hold anger, fear, resentment, hate, guilt, shame. So sometimes all of that needs balancing. Now that's where it ties back into what I was saying earlier about the karmic release that is coming that may have been with your soul over many, many thousands of lifetimes or past lives or thousands of years. So there's this culmination of energy that's almost swirling like a massive vortex around us right now. Some of the things that will happen will be going on at the cellular level. Uh, some of it will be obvious to you. Some of it you will feel at a very subtle energy level. A lot of this can be tied in with family issues, family DNA and lineage. And, you know, some of us, some of us wonder why we picked the families we did because we've got soul work to do with them. And for a lot of us, we can be doing healing work for families and the rest of the family have no idea what's going on because they're oblivious to it. But we can be healing family lineages that have had past karma debts heavily weighted with them. And these can often show up in mental health illnesses or physical illnesses. So this is a time where a lot of clearing can take place and a lot of work can be put in to help free up these emotional traumas that have gone on through many lifetimes. The universe is the world card. It is a fabulous card. It connects with the cosmos. And of course, if you think about it, they're now showing us the planets and the planets in our solar system, which is what I've just been talking about. These are the moments in time because of the way the planets are moving that create this end of time, epic energy change, portals, doorways, openings. When the universe card or the world card comes out, there's opportunities here, as I've just been saying about going back in time, bringing past timelines into the future, into the now, into the present. But this card also talks to us a great deal about wisdom that we have gained over these journeys. Now, traditionally, the world card, most people would only talk about it as being that this card will represent your lifetime of many lifetimes, of many soul evolutions. So we are embarking on some incredibly amazing breakthroughs, amazing potentials, amazing synchronicities, occurrences, galactic and celestial connections. And I have myself been talking about how powerful this junction point was or this port portal. So you guys are the first that have had the universe card come out. 
uh, at all for any of these readings. But this card comes out very, very seldom anyhow. So maybe for you guys, Cancer, there is this amazing celestial timeline opening and you guys might be intensely affected. This card can also reference, if you're coming back more into the daily life type thing, uh, traveling, moving overseas, going on a big overseas adventure, sometimes a new job overseas, uh, finishing something like a degree or a cycle in your life and moving on to a new cycle. So some of you may have been working, say as a healthcare worker for 10 or 15 years and you've suddenly decided, I'm going to change, I'm going to become a teacher or I'm going to become a landscaper. Some of you might have been a lawyer and you suddenly go, no, I'm going to go into natural healing. So these are the type of things that can happen with the universe as well. And oh, whoa, God, I didn't even notice all this going on in the background. Look, three, two and one is three, and three, boom, there's that trinity aspect I was talking about. Although this one carries a little bit of uh, sadness and pain, which I've talked about, I felt was covering off previous lifetimes these two are far more positive and bode really well and very light um, this recognition and reward is the three of pentacles so for some of you there is application or possibility of a job awareness increase or promotion or a pay increase or a reward or an award that comes through something you have done or achieved and again the universe ties in really well with that Maybe you were working with three people and now the project is finished and it's time to move on and there's a little bit of sadness about that. That's a possibility. But I'm getting the feeling this is way, way deeper. I, Some of you have come through something that has been either like a weight. And when I say a weight, it's not a physical weight. Although for some of you it could be, it could be a physical health issue that has weighted you down. But for others of you it's been a weight of the soul, a weight of this emotional burden and you may not have even known what it was. But there's a feeling of, if you, if you go into this enough, if you go into it deeply, if you meditate with it, if you connect with it, this is your higher self, this is the past timelines, you are getting a release and you are also being rewarded for some work you've done and this is the uplifting or the uh, taking away of karma and releasing and replacing it with dharma you know good luck good positive movement forward these three cards here seem very convoluted they seem to be pulling me into the vortex and the vortex is like here in this celestial realm and it's definitely like a time portal that is going on now some of you may find this message really odd you may be going oh i don't even know what you're talking about others of you are going to feel this quite deeply and you'll feel pulled into the message through the imagery of the cards and the displacement of them, the trinity effect, uh, the, th the three threes. So not only did we get the number three, but we got three threes. So you start adding it all up and there's a power of energy force moving through these cards. I feel if I sat here even longer, more and more would come. But I want to move on to some of the other cards as well. And at the same time, I want to give you guys the freedom or the opportunity to think about this um, collection of energies that have come because this is personal. It's deeply personal. And you alone are going to have to focus on where you believe this is headed or you know whether you believe this is in the here and now and this is an accolade and a reward and a movement ahead uh, which can also be notor notoriety so fame can come out of this as well or whether you believe this is tied into a deeper seated personal obligation that your soul took on that it has had work to do over lifetimes and at this point in time on the timeline we're coming to some culmination of events that is showing release growth and freedom of some sort 
yeah very very powerful stuff I'm I might just see if there's just one more from the John Holland and if not we'll move on to the other deck com the decks completely they are really um, speaking to each other and moving through each other those three cards very uh, succinctly and powerfully astrological readings which I do say to people go and listen to your moon and your rising as well the strange connection of synchronistic events and especially repetitive numbers is blowing me away and I hope it's 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 awakening something in all of you guys as well so now you have four threes so this three is also just boom it's just attached itself into this energy field that is opening up here uh, again we see partners partnerships and alliances down here and um, this is the three of wands so it represents expansion growth moving out uh, especially for businesses in the here and now so career and business for you guys have great opportunities of potential positives and that's in this normal life that we're talking about and you may form a new partnership or alliance with someone and this can also be personal so while one may have fallen by the wayside a new one may very well be taking its place as we speak and I did say that these can be very temporary uh, anyhow the number three is quite a transitory number and it moves through fairly quickly but now that we've got the four uh, threes, the power of the three has been manifested again and added to at an even deeper level. And again, we look at this hand holding down here in this deep, deep partnership of trust and support and being there, which is partnerships and alliances. I, I don't know what more to say. But again, I'm feeling through timelines and we see the two different colors here of the skin. So there's something about and the, the tattoo down here m marking on his arm, the tribal tribal or family line tattoo. There's something very special within this grouping of cards and I certainly won't be pulling any more out than this for the reading oh, sorry for the from this deck so I'm going to just place them back up there again just think and ponder upon where where you're headed personally with all of those threes I'll just very quickly pull a couple of cards from here for you from the Taurine Virtue Daily Guidance deck and some of these have come out I will just go a little bit further I'm only going to take two of these because I've got another two decks to go and they will also have beautiful messages so there's one giving and receiving oh <laughs> and this this energy here although this may not interest some of you it's a card that really reverberates Australia's energy and of course Australia has been on the mind of so many people and especially their indigenous um, animals of which two of these are theirs and there's an angel there overseeing them and looking after them and the cycle of giving and receiving was a big issue I talked about for their healing and rain calling work that I did earlier in uh, January and I said they needed to balance the cycle of giving and receiving so there's an angel come in for Australia still there with us I was pondering this this morning before I started your reading I was hoping that we still had more rain to come and who was working on it so this may be a slight interference coming in from the collective uh, for any Australians watching or listening or for any of you who have put prayers forward for Australia know that your work has been um, highly nurtured and uh, appreciated and valued and that the cycle is still continuing so I do believe there will be more input for Australia yet but if we come back to you guys the giving and receiving is a, when you're in this cycle so much more happens the wheels turn life evolves and that's a wee bit like the universe nothing can happen fully about evolution until we have learnt the value of giving and receiving and when we have managed to balance that that's when evolution takes place and the cyclical events of the galaxy or the universe evolve 
So just another really positive message here for you all in regards to um, giving and receiving and balancing. Trustworthy guidance is just saying, again, there's more angelic uh, evidence for you going on in the background. There's more support if you need it to call upon it, to feel into it. They may be supportive in helping you with a project such as this, which is a creative project, ideas coming in through daydreaming, through hearing the messages of your celestial helpers or your higher self. So some of you who are moving on to this new project are still getting ideas or thoughts coming through. Some of you may be really... Um, like just like a thunderbolt of stuff coming in messages that are blowing you away or thoughts or ideas or something that's letting you understand to a greater degree why certain things are happening in your life and how you can actually move through it so feel into the energy of your celestial helpers and your higher self some of you may even feel like something behind you or something on your shoulder from time to time as well so we will move on to this deck next which is the beautiful uh, uh, spirit animal spirit card deck for some reason before I started your reading I was really really compelled to get this out and um, I'm wondering what animals come for you because I'm thinking of the deer and the butterflies for some reason so let's just see for cancer what messages are coming from the oracle of the animal guides now when these cards arrive, think about the animal that arrives and the messages from within. The scarab beetle, magic works through you. <laughs> 52, the 7, 52 is a 7. Um, scarab beetle spirit, magic works through you. And I think we've seen quite a bit of magic potential in the beginning of the reading another one that came for you was eagle spirit oh look at that spirit has your back i mean seriously guys when you get messages that are so tied to each other you wonder how these magical moments and synchronicities and events occur i just was talking to you about you may even feel the celestial presence behind you on your back and with one hand on your shoulder. And eagle spirit, spirit has your back. You are being guided. You are being protected. You are being given ideas, insights, creativity in particular. Wow. Um, I'll just take one more from here. So we had these ones come out. I don't know what they are. I haven't seen them. I'm just going to pick one. <laughs> uh, which one? Mm. Ant spirit, time to collaborate. And we've seen that with, you know, I've said to you, you had so many number threes, the Trinity number, working in partnerships, working with three people, partnerships and alliances. So something in here for you guys is about the potentiality of collaboration and when that can happen, there can be a great expansion of a, a collaborative project that has success. So whether this is collaborating at a personal level to take forward something, move it forward, create it, instigate it, or whether this is at a bigger collaboration such as a work project with other people and it may be more than three or whether this is at a community collaboration or even a global collaboration i think there's opportunity in here for you guys cancer to really break open and break out and collaborate and create 